I just received the new flow cooler water pump in the mail from Ames Performance. This is the um, much more high volume water pump. And uh, as you know, we need divider plates that go on top here, which I also have. But I just wanted to make this quick video and show you guys the modification components. All right, just that. There's that. Let me line them up here. All right. Let me drop the camera a little. All right. So, where is it at? Here it is. Check this out. More than an eighth of an inch gap between the divider plate and the top of the impeller. So, my suggestion, you're gonna pound this down carefully and slowly. And when it's done, you want it to be flush. When I'm done, I will show you the video. Quick follow up to the process of banging it down. There's a slight ridge right there that I marked with a blue marker. And I mark the spots that sit extra high. So when I bang it down with this body hammer, with a hammer, or when I get aggravated and I use a framing hammer, I'll know where to hit. Anyhow, I want to show you something else. Remember the gauge I told you about? You want to have one of these. So when you run it along the uh, ridge, you can actually, t you can't eyeball it. You have to be somewhat precise. You want to be able to tell where the high spots and low spots are. So as you, as you manipulate this down, it goes down evenly all the way across. All right, in progress. All right, we have a little bit of an update here. As I said, I put the blue ring around the ridge so when you hammer it down on the workbench, you can actually see where to manipulate because you don't want to just concentrate on the rim, nor do you want to uh, concentrate on the inner uh, part of the uh, opening. What I suggested was to get one of these um, gauges. And when we started out, where are we at here? When we started out, if you can see it's 5 8 it was at the 5 8 mark. I've knocked it down to 3 8 So we're right at the 3 8 mark. And if you notice, I have these X's here, they're actually pluses. That is high spots because as I hammered, I kept running the gauge and I noticed, well, here it's a little high. Work on the, these two areas. But anyhow, we are at, we're at three eighths all the way around. Okay, all the way around. But I don't think we're there yet, all right? Now, come over here, Lex. Look where we're at now. Remember that giant gap? So when that's on here, and remember the gasket's gonna give us a little more clearance. This is just awkward to hold here. But now we're talking. Now this is getting to be a lot more uh, within the specs to make this water pump work efficiently. Furthermore, let me just throw this out at you. Impeller, right? See the outside of that impeller? Yeah. Not you, camera girl. Uh, the outside of the impeller. You do not want to knock down the edges so much that you bind up the inside, the far uh, outside of this impeller. That's another reason that blue line is there. You have to concentrate on manipulating the metal from the blue line inward. Yes, well, you have to take it down here a little bit, but the majority of the manipulation is gonna go from the blue line to here, and that's where you're gonna knock it down. That's where, as you can see the tolerances, all right, that's it, end of the video.